Just a moment, please. The H law for females would be six plus eight plus plus eight plus five. This is divided by fifty. The result. Uh, I'm not going to perform the calculation myself. I'm going to bring the result from the book. Um, the first one is 8.6 and the second one is 7.9. 8.6, Let me you check. Yes, it's true. Okay, nothing left at the moment. I can easily perform the uh, the other calculation, the calculated statistics, the calc equals x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square divided by n2 this is within the square root. Okay. Well, let's perform the, the calculation. X1 bar is 8.6 minus 7.9 divided sigma 1 square is 3.3. 3 square divided by 35, or oh, 50, I'm sorry. It's 50, the sample size is 50 for each, plus another 3.3 .3 square divided by 50. This is within the square root. Okay, if I do perform such calculation, let me check the result. In the square root, two point three square. Okay. Um, the result is one point 
06, another 06. That's the result I found myself with four digits. And let's have the, the Gaussian display picture. And since this is a right sided, right sided because it's me, it's greater will be on the right side. There will be uh, the critical value will be right here. Um, I have one, one sided, this is one sided only. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is 1.28. This is reject the null. Null, this is 4.10, and this is 0.90. The alpha level of significance is given as alpha 0.10 right here. You can see it. And this is do not reject the null hypothesis. Do not reject the null. Okay. Um, the calculated statistic is, is smaller than the, the critical value. So this is going to be somewhere around here. Yeah, somewhere around here. So I can tell this is 1.06. Six all six. Since the calculated statistic is not falling within the reject region. The null hypothesis cannot be rejected with alpha or point ten level of significance. Okay. Um, in other words, the words, the average number of sport the average number of sports. Sports that colleges colleges offer that offer for males is not greater. Better than then the average number average number of sports offered by colleges. Um, the average number of sport that colleges offer for males is not greater than the average number of sports uh, offered by colleges colleges for females.
Okay, that's the interpretation you can make in the end. Um, you can also establish a confidence interval yourself. Homework. So homework. Establish um, new mail and finish interval and ninety percent confidence interval. For new male minus new female. So this is a mark you study yourself. Um, let me get to the book. Okay, if you see, look, there you go. Um, you see, this is the same. We we have mu one is greater. I, I just have a subscript in place of one. I just substitute uh, male and for two female. And the calculation is more or less similar, is 1.06, which is similar to mine. And it, the, the, the author performed this calculation step by step. Um, so they calculate p value since I'm not using, uh, uh, I'm not using um, a, a cap. A, a competing facilities, I cannot calculate the p-value. So you're not responsible for the p-value. But if you have critical value here, the critical value will be 1.28. So if you substitute here, so then your calculation will be somewhere here. Uh, it's similar. No, it will be no difference. There will be no difference. Uh, this is the confidence interval. It's the same as the one I'm presenting to you. Uh, this is um, the difference between means. So this is uh, the confidence interval I already found, 1.4, between 1.4 and 7 something. So if you work out this example, and you'll see that this is the similar confidence interval you can have. Um, what else? What? Uh, there are some exercises here I can present you. Uh, I can ask you to study yourself those exercises. Let me see which one you could uh, study yourself. Uh, I'm going to copy all of these exercises to study yourself home, these exercises to, to practice at home. There are so many, actually. So I'm going to copy three pages related to the exercises, those three pages. Um, starting from here, yeah, there, there it is. So 520, I'm gonna copy, select, yeah. Um, no, it's not here. Yeah, select. Um, 520, this one, this, and that. Um, I think this one too, it's four pages. I'm gonna copy them. Yeah, I can just paste it right here. I'm gonna paste it here. Let's paste it. Done. Okay, so I'm going to delete this page, delete it, yeah, okay, look, my lecture notes end up here, and I'm presenting you the exercises to study, study those exercises home. Study those exercises
Okay. You started those exercises at home. And you practice a lot on this subject. And in the next week lecture, what I'm going to have is um, I will um, keep going with the, the comparison of uh, the two mean difference, two, uh, two population mean difference, uh, assuming that the variances are not known. So there are many ways when the, the variances are not known for each group. Um, we're not using the Z calculated statistics this time. We will be using the T statistics, and there are two ways uh, for this. And once we finish the two independent sam samples, and we will be keeping going. And I think this will take us uh, two weeks, three weeks more by comparing two uh, population means. Maybe we will be starting three weeks also before. And we might have a midterm examination, and we'll take a look at the announcement from the university. If I, if I see something, I tell you. Today, I will end up the lecture uh, at this point. And may I ask you just a minute to pick up to just answer the, the, the bell? Okay, before, before I open the door, um, I just opened the door downstairs. And may I ask if you have any question? I don't know whether any of you within the room, I'll check if you have, if there is no one in the room at the moment, um, I will- Hocam, benim sorum yok. Üç kişiyiz zaten herhalde. Ya iki okay. kişi, iki öğrenci var. Okay, that will be the end of the lecture today. And I'll stop recording, stop teaching. So I shall meet you next week. And I'll have a discussion with you next week whether I can um, um, perform the teaching two weeks later, whether I can teach you not on Friday, on Tuesday, maybe. Just one week this way. And the, next, the, the weeks coming will be because I mean, I need to go out of town on uh, Friday. Uh, so I have an excuse. I cannot perform teaching, lecturing on Friday. Two weeks later, not next week. Tamamdır hocam. İyi günler. İyi günler. Hoşçakalın.